हेलो एंड वेलकम यू ऑल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे सेशन इज इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ एडीसी टू माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू वी मे एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक दिस ड्रॉ एंड एक्सप्लेन इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ एडीसी टू द माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन और एक्सप्लेन इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ एडीसी टू एट जीरो फाइव वन विद द हेल्प ऑफ सुटेबल वेब फॉर्म्स और राइट एन ऑलगोरिथम for interfacing of adc to 8051 now first let me explain you this diagram this is the diagram of interfacing i mean how to connect adc to 8051 we know that adc is analog to digital conversion Na naturally input signal will be analog in nature output of this ic will be digital signal now we have to make a conversion of analog signal into digital and this digital this digital data will be available at 8051 and it will, it may be used for some uh, for performing any other application all right now first i will explain you what are the different pins and what's the use of each and every pin that will help you to write the explanation of uh, this interfacing uh, diagram there are two important pins one is soc that is start of conversion it is also called right pin it is soc start of conversion it is connected to port 2 that is pin 2.6 of 8051 as the name indicates start of conversion means it indicates when this pin is activated it will start converting analog signal into digital signal then another important pin is uh, which is connected to port 2 pin number 6 that is pin 2.6 it is intr that is end of conversion so after converting i mean every time while writing the program you need to check the status of eoc depending on the status of eoc you will come to know that conversion of analog into digital is completed or not so this signal is generated and it is applied to pin number 2.56 accordingly 8051 will be getting acknowledgement signal that now the conversion is completed all right now next pin i have written that is oe which is again read pin so this is the pin related to again uh, conversion of analog to digital signal i mean it is related to data points data pins d0 to d7 ab dekho before that let me first explain you the functioning of this then that this d0 to d7 uh, will be more clear i have shown three pins a b and c of adc do remember adc is analog to digital conversion ic number is 0808 or 0809 for any one of these ics the configuration uh, i mean interfacing remains same so these three pins a b c are channel selecting pins so what is this channel selecting pins look at this diagram see in case of analog to digital conversion i have shown input numbers i n 0 to i n 7 so there are eight inputs to this eight input pins eight channels are connected channel number 0 to channel number 7 so eight channels are connected ideally you can connect eight transducers we know that transducer is a device which converts physical signal into electrical signal so there are eight channels we can connect ideally eight transducers and data of each transducer which is a physical signal converted into electrical signal will be applied to in0 to matlab uh, in0 se in7 pin tak ye data apply karenge okay but when you are interfacing it to 8051 at a time you can select only one channel iska kya matlab hai to select a particular channel we will be using pins a b and c ek maine table banaya hai depending on the content of a b c particular channel will be selected for example if c b a this contents are 000 channel number 0 will be selected if the contents are 010 do remember the sequence which i have written in the table is c b a so it is c 0 b 1 a 0 look at this combination b1 c0 and a1 that is this combination 0 1 0 it is corresponding to channel 2 means if while writing the program you will apply the data to this pin number 2.0 2.1 2.2 of 8051 this data you will be sending 0 1 0 then this data will be 
applicable or applied to ABC pins and accordingly channel number two of this ADC will be selected. Just I have told you, one channel select karenge and then uh, we will make the conversion of analog signal into digital signal. Okay. Now after conversion, the data will be available at pins D0 to D7. See, we are using three uh, channel enable pins because we have eight channels. So after converting analog signal, the data will be in the digital form. These digital bits will be available at pins D0 to D7 after making the conversion. These pins are connected to port 1 of 8051. You can well change the uh, port. You can well use your port 0 and so on. So these are connected to pin number P1.0 to P1.7. So after the conversion, this data will be applied or available for 8051. So this is the basic uh, interfacing diagram or interfacing connection <coughs> for ADC to the 8051. Now for ADC, VCC is plus volt and one reference voltage is required. Uh, that is plus 2.56 volt. Do remember the ADC which we are using here is SAR that is sub working on the principle of successive approximation technique. There are different types of ADCs uh, available. So presently we are talking about sub successive approximation technique analog to digital conversion. So this is all about the conversion of uh, I mean interfacing of ADC to 8051. Ha. I have forgotten one more point this OE pin that is uh, output enable pin after making the conversion data will be available from D0 to D7 you need to activate this OE pin which is again uh, marked as RD read pin so after making the conversion if you activate this pin then data will be available uh, for 8051 now one more point is remaining that is this is the crystal oscillator which we already discussed in other interfacing diagrams also. The frequency for 8051 uh, for the crystal oscillator is 11.0592 megahertz. Then this is the reset pin connected to uh, RST pin that is it is used for resetting of this 8051 IC. Look at this connection. This output of crystal, this crystal oscillator is basically used to generate the clock signals. Output of this crystal is given to this type of structure. There are four D flip-flops are used. D type flip-flops are used. You can say it is just performing the operation similar to frequency division because this much frequency 11.0592 megahertz is not the requirement of ADC. So divide the, to divide the frequency, these four flip-flops are connected in cascade and then accordingly the clock signal is applied to the IC 0808 or 0809. Now let us discuss the corresponding waveforms to understand the functioning of this interfacing of ADC to 8051. We have already discussed that these ABC pins are the data which is applied to ABC pins. I have skipped the ADC ka part of the uh, skip kiya hai. So the data applied to ABC decides which one of the input channel of ADC is to be selected. As we have discussed, 0, 1, 0, then channel 2 will select kiya jayega and uh, so on. Okay. These are the clock pulses. Corresponding to clock pulses, we have to draw the diagram. Now, see, one time, this particular channel we have to select. Karna hai. Accordingly, if we apply the signal from 8051 to these pins, A, B, C, a particular channel is selected. After selecting the channel, the address of that particular channel, just say, look, this channel, these are connected to corresponding pins, IN0, IN1, IN2, and so on. So, after selecting a particular channel, the address corresponding to that channel is latched. For that, ALE signal is used. That is address latch enabled. Matlab, dekho, as far as timings are concerned, ek bar channel select karenge, to after typically, 50 nanoseconds, 50 nanoseconds. After selecting a particular channel, uske baad, 50 nanoseconds ke baad, this address latch enable will be activated, which will latch that particular address. Matlab, jo channel select kiya, uska corresponding jo address ho latch karenge. So, 
this this signal is generated after 50 nanoseconds after selecting uh, the particular channel and it is made from low to high ye low signal hai, low to high and then again it is made low so this particular thing indicates that ale address latch enable is activated now after activating the this uh, address latch enable we need to start the conversion process conversion of a analog to a digital signal so that is done that is achieved by using this pin wr that is right pin which is soc start of conversion this pin uh, and in the earlier diagram we have discussed how this is connected to 8051 and so on okay so ye address latch enable activate karne ke baad, after 25 microseconds this start of conversion pin is activated matlab now the conversion starts kab start hoga 25 microsecond ke baad matlab ek bar ale generate hoga address latch karenge uske baad 25 microsecond ke baad this soc is activated that is start of conversion or right pin is activated it is isliye dekho ye ale generate karne ke baad ye activate kiya hai <coughs> and it is activated ye, ye low signal hai. it is activated by making a transition from low to high and again from high to low so this signal will be activated it will start converting the data <coughs> Ab dekho, har bar program likhte vakt, you need to check the status of eoc that is end of conversion ha usse pehle ye ale activate ho gaya to ye address latch karenge it is shown by this waveform अब end of conversion जैसे मैंने बताया हर वक्त program लिखते वक्त you need to go on checking whether the conversion is completed or not so this is the corresponding waveform which represents end of conversion so after converting it uh, the status of EOC pin will be changed how it is changed पहले high रहेगा जब conversion complete होगा it it gets changed from high to low again it get again it becomes high for next conversion तो एक एक conversion complete होने के बाद पहले ये high रहता है complete होने के बाद it will show show high to low transition and again it goes high after some time so that after this it will be ready for the next conversion so you need to check again and again the status of uh, this uh, pin eoc that is end of conversion Ab dekho. after performing after completion of this end of conversion this pin dekho, end of conversion yahan pe complete hoga yahan pe ye suppose ye black ink se jo main bana after this after some time oe that is output enable pin is activated iska kya function hai output enable pin oe this pin it indicates that now conversion is completed and the data is available which is from d0 to d7 to jo data available hai that will be available uh, at the port of 8051 to ye matlab eoc complete hone ke baad end of conversion hone ke baad ye pin OE that is output enable pin is activated it is activated by making a transition from low to high and again it is made low for the next purpose next cycle or next conversion I meant to say okay so this is the waveform related to RD or uh, output enable uh, pin now once the output enable pin is activated we discussed that the data which is available from d0 to d7 uh, is uh, will be uh, actually available for 8051 uh, for a particular operation to ye ya is waveform se dikha hai that is d0 to d7 where i have written latch the data so if the uh, question is like this uh, draw the interfacing diagram and explain its uh, explain the interfacing along with the waveform so you need to explain all these types of waveforms this is the simple uh, flowchart for interfacing of adc we already discussed the functioning and all that the uh, it, flow chart is uh, pretty simple select the channel from abc we already discussed that abc 3 pin se usko input deke particular channel select karenge. then activate ale first we need to activate ale as shown in this waveform by making l to h matlab low to high transition then enable soc start of conversion uske baad soc enable karna hai after 25 microseconds that we have discussed so enable soc that is again low to high transaction then 
डिसेबल एली एंड एसोसी आफ्टर सम टाइम देखो कुछ टाइम पीरियड के बाद ये जो हाई की है उसको फिर से लो करना है बुद्ध डिस्पेंस एसोसी एज वेल एज एली और यू कैन वेल राइट ओवर हियर वेट फॉर सम टाइम सो आफ्टर सम टाइम इट विल बी डिसेबल now you need to check whether you have started the conversion every time you need to check whether the end of conversion pin is activated or not as we have discussed end of conversion simply indicates that conversion process is completed so if it is not activated then again you need to wait for some time if it is activated then enable oe pin so after this we are supposed to enable this output enable pin so it indicates that now the data is available from d0 to d6 so this is the simple uh, uh, flow chart for conversion of adc so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video